good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we are today thursday july 24 2004 today we are going to continue with the series pertaining to deportation in haiti and the videos that we are going to talk about is should and can haiti rehabilitate its deportee now before we start off these videos i really want to warn you off and let you know that depending on your stance on deportation so let's say that you are someone who has strong opinion about anybody being deported and how you feel like the process of rehabilitation should be i am going to warn you off that this video may be a little bit triggering to you and also if you have whether it is that you have relatives a loved one a parent a child someone that you know that is on the process of getting deported back to haiti or that has already been deported back um, into Haiti or any other country, I am really going to warn you off that this particular topic um, may kind of like rub you off a certain type of way because I am really going to, now the way that we're gonna go with this topic discussions, I am going to um, bring in the facts to you, but I feel like at the end of the video, I really wanted to be a little bit opinionated based on my own views regarding the current state of the countries and tying it in with what I feel that this whole process of rehabilitation of deportees back to Haiti. So guys, I can't really see. Without further ado, we are going to begin. So how are we going to talk about that? So I have a couple of questions that I actually um, wrote and we're just going to go and answer these questions. The first thing I said, what constitutes a rehabilitation? Okay, does the Haitian government have the ability to financially rehabilitate its departee? Okay, can departees help positively move the country of Haiti forward? Okay, and lastly, without proper, without a proper rehabilitation, where could the majority of the departees end? So these are the questions that I felt like I wanted to bring into um, lighten, like underneath this particular topic, which is the whole process of rehabilitation of the parties back into Haiti. So the first thing is rehabilitation. Let's go and let's talk about what is the definition of rehabilitation. According to the dictionary, rehabilitation is the action of restoring someone to a health or normal life through training and therapy after imprisonment, addiction, or illnesses. Sorry. So the, the second definition is rehabilitation is the action of restoring someone to former privilege or reputation after a period of disfavor. The third definition is that rehabilitation, excuse me, I'm outside. Sorry. Um, so the third definition is that rehabilitation is the action of restoring something that has been damaged to its former condition. So these are the three definitions that I felt like were pertaining to um, the process of rehabilitation. So now we're going to go straight and we're going to talk about if the Haitian government um, have the ability to financially rehabilitate its departee. Now, guys, in order for us to go into this particular question, I actually broke it down. So I am going to throw down a couple of questions at you who is watching this video because I want I don't want it to be that once we get to the end of the video and where I really start to give my opinion that you guys don't already have like a certain type of an opinion of your own ideas of what it could constitute to rehabilitate deportees back into Haiti, correct? So, is Haiti equipped with health institutions along with professionals of their, of their field available to support those transitioning back to their country? Two, are deportees provided with a safe place where they have access to psychologists, psychiatrists, doctors, 
for a period of one to three months before going on into life in Haiti. Are transitioning facilities present in Haiti? By transitioning, I am referring to a facility to host deportees. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I lost my choice. To host deportees, help them reestablish themselves and also provide a rehabilitation between them and their family correct what is actually not only present in Haiti but functioning well if the Haitian government had access to funding to support their deportees can we safely say that they would equip their country with such facility Ladies and gentlemen, these are the questions that I'm going to throw at you who is watching this video. And um, if you are very, very familiar with my channel, you are going to be able to answer these questions on your own and deduct from yourself how this whole rehabilitation process with deportees in Haiti um, can go forward. So number three, we are going to talk about if deportees can help positively move the country of Haiti because ladies and gentlemen what we are not going to do in this video is not we're not going to um be emotional nor are we going to um take this video and be too passionate about it we are going to be very practical we are going to look at the facts we are going to look at you know the country of haiti and we are going to deduct whatever it is that we feel we are deducting based on these facts so what is the country of Haiti in needs of? Now, this is strictly from my own perspective and my own opinion, okay? So, I wrote down that Haiti is in need of electricity, system of communication, portable water, builders, thinkers, leaders, and people willing to work, okay? Who gets deported to Haiti? What are their skills? And what are their mindset I say people who get deported to Haiti get deported because first of crimes that they have committed second because they never legalize their residency so usually it's two groups you fall into the two groups you have the groups who do like certain type of crimes and they get deported back and you have the groups who try to escape Haiti and um, never fully uh, legalize themselves and they too can get deported back to Haiti right so i said the first group nine times out of ten they fall back in the same lifestyle and end up far worse than how they came in so we're talking about the first group of people which are the people who committed the crimes the second group i say nine times out of ten they try to escape haiti again to the same country or another so the second group of people who first already decided that you know what it's it's a done deal i do not want to be here in haiti um nine times out of thing these people even when they get deported back to haiti they are either trying to escape to the same country sometimes or they're trying to take the route to another country because their mindset is that they need to get the hell out they just don't see any future sorry they just don't see any future work for them here in Haiti. It's like these people, they they just kind of like, Haiti is doomed for them. So they are not really trying to dance any type of dance. So I said, what is their mindset? The first group, their mindset is to survive because we are going to be very honest. I've already analyzed certain things to you. Hopefully this is the third video in the series. You've watched the first and the second and you've watched some of my videos pertaining to the economy of Haiti you understand that there is a severe lack of work opportunity so when someone gets deported back to Haiti that person no matter how we're looking at it we all need the basics we have to eat we have to close ourselves we have to bake so these people who come back they are not only like psychologically like um, like mentally like 
trying to cope with the fact that they are in a country that a lot of time they've left a long time ago or it's kind of like they they don't recollect they have no recollection of the country so they have to deal with that mentally but they also have to survive so that's that's their mindset the number one thing is surviving and if surviving means that they have to go back into a life of crime then this is the um how do i say bestial this is the this is the the animal survival instinct that i have to leave at the end of the day right so by all means necessary right so the second group i say that the, their mindset i already talk about it is to get the hell out <laughs> that's why they that's why they left the first place so these people are not trying to um you know for the most part trying to say okay you know what what can i do no they're trying to say okay what is the next best move for me to leave this country all right so now i said evaluating the market and population of haiti so now we're gonna go back with the entire market and population of haiti knowing that there are so many people who are already like finished with school finished with their studies people who finish with universities but they have not been able to find any type of work here i had so many people who came back to haiti 10 years ago like myself people who studied abroad people who didn't feel like they wanted to leave elsewhere and came back these people are not here because the they just could not cope with what it constitutes to being here in this country so now i said let's just evaluate everything that i just said about that how many people here in this country are currently unemployed how many jobs are safely being created how many investors are aiming to build in haiti now let's assume that the economy now this is a big assumption because you know underneath these videos you're going to have those who really I, I i'm not i'm just i mean i don't want to say who are optimism because i i feel like there are people who just are blindsided and who really you know they just really want to say things like oh you know you know there's going to be investors coming to haiti so let's just let's let's put this out for for those people so let's just assume that the economy crisis would improve here in haiti and jobs would be created knowing what we know about the number of people that are unemployed people who already have skills people who have knowledge people who are you know expert in what their study is right um can we safely say that the deportees would be at the forefront of these jobs that are going to be technically created in haiti can we say that or ladies and gentlemen going back to the very first video that i talked about where i said that deportees can absolutely be um hired but taken advantage of right an organization can decide to come to haiti and decide uh, to create jobs right a um business can decide to come to haiti and create jobs if they had to choose between a haitian local and a deportee they probably would hire a deportee why because the cost would be a lot less than a haitian local same goes to someone who studied abroad who had a lot more opportunity you know they would never technically aim for these type of people right because of the cost they're gonna go for the lowest cost and deportees fall under that they fall under the haitian locals so you know let's not fool ourselves and say that oh you know what deportees get hired but are they really paying these people how much money are these people really getting paid when we hear about international organization coming down and giving these deportees um projects being able to work with them ask ourselves let, let's just be honest like how much money are you like how much money are you getting paid so number four we are going to talk about without a proper rehabilitation where could the majority of the deportees end this is where i say that um you know this is this is general okay that really does not mean that people who get deported falls under these categories i'm just being very general and very broad please do not believe that if you have a family member a relative a loved one or if you are going to come back and getting back deported that necessarily this is where you're going to end you know here i'm keeping it extremely extremely broad so i say without 
<clears throat> proper rehabilitation, in my opinion, departees can fall into severe depression, physical ailment, i.e. health problems. They can be subject to being the victims of the streets, right? They can get involved in any illegal activities to help them survive, right? They can be subject to suicidal thoughts. They can be taken advantage of. We talked about that. I say they can be coerced into working for governmental figures as outlaws. We talked about that. I also said that um, the parties can rise up. They can defy the odds. They can turn their life around. And they can build businesses and create a new path now let's get down to business real business <laughs> i wanted to put this out because i didn't want to have this video be strictly my opinion base i really wanted to you know come out and have these questions out but now we're going to really talk into business ladies and gentlemen today is Jan july 22nd 2020 and it's been probably 12 to 13 days since we had ha have had any electricity in our neighborhood and this is the case in the goddamn city no electricity whatsoever currently i feel like again yet again haiti is teething tattering into going back into a political chaos now why am i bringing this up to you I do not want this subject to be like, you know, in this channel, we don't do things that are not taught, provoc provocative or just critical thinking base. I really wanted to come and give a little bit of my opinion. Deportees in Haiti will not be rehabilitated into the Haitian society. It is a no bueno. It is a known factors. Into reintegrating deportees positively into the Haitian society is too costly to the Haitian government where they can use these people for their own advantages, right? You're not going to have concrete change in this country, whether it is regarding deportees, whether it is regarding people like myself who decided to come and who have a lot to bring. Or whether it is for people like yourself who consistently watch my channel, who would give so much to come back to Haiti, but you are afraid. You know why? If this country does not change the change of command at the leadership, at the top, there needs to be change. There needs to be a complete change starting at the top. We're talking about executive branch judicial legislative at all type of you need people that are going to be able to think because what is the reality the reality is that any organizations and i talked about that before in the first video any organization that would want to implement themselves here in this country and work with deportees they cannot do this work without the Haitian government without the legal department of Haiti and they not only need would need to work with the Haitian government but they also would need to work with the government of the country of where these people are coming from do you understand meaning as an organization if you're saying that oh you know what I'm going to work with deportees that are coming to Haiti but from where because people are getting deported not only from the states, people are getting deported from the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Canada, God damn it, everywhere people are getting deported back to Haiti. So if you're going to implement an organization here in Haiti, these are the things that this particular organization would need to define, right? Who am I going to work with as a deportee? If you're going to work with deportees that are coming from the United States, then you're going to have to need to work with some of these other governmental institutions or nonprofit organizations in the U.S., right? 
you would have to partner with them right because you would need to know the laws right why are these people getting deported because you would need to know how can you support these people that are back so that, that means that means that you would need to know why these people are coming back to haiti right and in-depth research of you know what crime did you commit do you need psychological support do you need mental support let's not forget that people who come and who get deported they, listen they, these people are not coming from um the pool or i don't know these people are coming straight from jail prisons right straight from jails and prisons and being dumped here in haiti so we're talking about these people probably sometimes that person served a 15 year sentence in jail your mindset is not really like you had a certain type of lifestyle that you were accustomed to for 15 20 years six seven years right where you had people to tell you where to what to do you had a certain way of life so when they come and they just dump you here in haiti and technically you're free like there's an there's an entire process that needs to be worked on with these individuals so when an organization is coming here and saying that they want to work with deportees do we know or do that a particular organization knows how they're going to maneuver now we're not going to sit here and uh, uh just like not talk about the facts do we know how corrupted is the haitian government because let's not l listen if the haitian government had money do you think that they would actually put this money with the parties where and when the the majority of these people here in this country are unemployed you have young people who can't find work you have people who have to leave this country every single day because there are no type of jobs do you believe in your hearts of hearts in your mind that if the Haitian government had money they would actually truly rehabilitate deportees back and in Haiti. I am going to share something that is extremely personal with you years ago when I actually started to do my work with street kids I was put into contact with a gentleman at the time who was at the top of the police force in Haiti and I remember it specifically he used to work at the CPG and my father took me to visit him because I really wanted to do work with street kids, i.e. juvenile delinquent. I met that gentleman once. And the week that I was supposed to meet with that gentleman, he suffered a quote-unquote accident. A quote-unquote accident. I remember particularly the conversation that I had with him when I first came in. I remembered what he warned me against that I'm not going to put out. I remembered everything that he told me in regards to the people who worked around him. Let's not forget that I told you guys that this gentleman was working in the Haitian police force. This to say that these people have no empathy. If you've ever visited Haiti and you looked at the street, you would understand they don't care about their citizen. If you've ever come not even for like a day into Haiti, you would see the conditions that the people of Haiti have to fight to survive. When you come to Haiti, it is a literally a survival of the fittest. It is an eye for an eye. People in Haiti don't really care. There are no governments in place. These people, once they get into power, whoever they elect is, how much money can I steal? What can I do? So should and can deportees be rehabilitated? Absolutely. Would and will they get rehabilitated with this government? Absolutely not. If an organization were starting to get some work done here in this country and you know money were to start coming and flowing, how would these people in the quote-unquote Haitian government react? I believe that any organization who would want to work with deportees personally would need to take a back-end route meaning that this would be a work that you would do without the people that are quote unquote i always say quote unquote because you guys know how i feel about that about calling these people governmental people you guys know how i feel but it would be like the type of work that you do like on the side like you do this work and you are not technically letting them know that you are doing it because you want to move a little bit silently 
Now, Haiti is going to be going into election in a few years, well, next year. And I'm very curious, like, it's probably one of the main reasons why I, I feel like I want to stay here for a little while. Because I'm very, 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 very curious to know and to see how this country, the next people that are going to be in power. You know, I'm, I'm very curious to see because I feel like Haiti's next election is going to be the breaking point for us to know if we can move into this 21st century the way that the majority of the world is gearing up to go into. Now, personally, am I discouraging anyone or any... Um, you know anyone who would want to work with the parties absolutely not actually the second video that i talked about the second video was in regards to steps that i feel like people could follow if they are the parties back to haiti now the reality is that you know i put these i put these steps out but we have to be very um you know not even practical just very real you know what I mean? this Let's country just be real it, when we're talking about that we want people here to be really take that doesn't mean that an individual cannot do it, but that individual would need to have the support of friends and families. And we know how Haitian families feels toward people who are getting deported, right? Them understanding and looking at you less, more than a reject because they're looking at you like, we just can't believe you got your ass deported back to Haiti. And, and, now you, you and I also do not want us to be too harsh because underneath the first video i will not you know give out any names or anything but let's not be too harsh on people who are getting deported back to haiti because let's not forget that you know you cannot listen we're not god right people make mistakes sorry people make mistakes in life but you cannot want someone to serve an indefinite time in jail as a matter of fact you know when i really think about you know some of these options that people have i feel like if you have the option to get deported to your own country after a certain time that you committed a crime it's a lot better for you because what are the odds for people who have been in um in jail for such a long time when they are out let's just take a country like the united states when these people are out what are the odds that they're gonna they become jailbird so they go back to jail again so to me if you have an option of being deported back to your own country i feel like it's a step ahead i feel like to me i feel like it's a lot better in a way i do i feel like it's a lot better because it's kind of like when i when i told you about my family friend who um got deported and his family his, you know, his immediate, like, family, parents, they're just, they, they don't want to have anything to do with him for now. You know, they're pretty upset and pretty angry and saying things like, let's just say that he, you know, they're a, a lot in the same lane as my own family. So they think a lot. You know, these are people who feel like, you know what, we've put you to school, we've done this, we've done that, and look at this, you're coming back to us as a criminal. These are also people who have not lived in the United States, so they do not understand that once we leave Haiti, no matter where you were in the social class, you have to fight because depending on where you live, sometimes you have to go back to the project. It's just it's just a whole different type of lifestyle and not everybody can cope in these type of lifestyle. You know, when you when you take you some, know, some people are born rebellious. And some people have a hard time channeling their rebellious ways into something more passionate. <clears throat> excuse me i am very rebellious but along the way i found passion my passion you know in my work so i was able to like direct a lot of my passion and my rebellious ways into something positive right this is what i have to say to conclude um rehabilitation of deportees in haiti is not impossible you're going to need to have very very strong system into place people who are not only passionate because passion doesn't only flew with you you got to be passionate with what you want to do, but you, you're going to have to be very practical. Um, also, you need to know and you need to understand that let's just say that you were to put an organization together and your organization were to start receiving funding to do that. Ask yourself if you would actually truly receive the justice or the integrity 
or the um, moral support of those who hold these powers in Haiti. Again, I ask this question, should and can Haiti rehabilitate its deportee? Absolutely, absolutely. Deportees can have job trainings and be able to compete. Deportees can turn around and be entrepreneurs. There are a lot of routes that we can create for deportees. But let's just be extremely practical and realist in this video, ladies and gentlemen. Extremely practical and realist, given the country that we know that we live in or that you've heard of or that I've spoken to you so many times about here in Haiti. If the Haitian can, let me just not say if the Haitian government, if an external organization wanted to work with deportees, we would have to ask ourselves, what are the jobs are you created? And would deportees be now in the market of Haiti competing? Or would they be taking advantage of, as we talked about? So I don't wanna drag this video. This is what I have to say for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. As always, it's always such a pleasure for me to come here and bring this topic discussions to you. I know that they are pretty heavy, um, but you know, some of us have to do the work. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to hear what you have to say in this particular topic discussion. Do not forget to share this video because I do believe that this series is very, very important. And I shall see you in the next.